Hey guys, what's up? This is Naresh with you. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to explain the result, the inferential results uh, that is generated from a Pearson uh, correlation. Okay, let's go to the data set that we have here. I don't need to explain this. Uh, as you know, that all of these variables should be in um, continuous, not categorical. Okay, so to conduct a uh, Pearson correlation, let's go to analyze correlate bivariate okay so let's click over here and the four of them you can simply press shift button and click uh, you, and you can select all of them insert into the variable box uh, go to option and look into the mean and standard deviation okay click into the mean and standard deviation click continue over here just make sure it is under uh, psn to tell and flag significant correlation the moment you click ok and this is what uh, information that you receive one is the descriptive statistics and the other one is the information on the correlation between uh, these four different variables and the process is simple just click on the box copy which is Control c or you can right click and copy and go to microsoft word and just simply paste it over here you can see the data is already formatted in the apa style so let me quickly show you how to do it First, click on all borders so we can see uh, how these ticks are formatted over here. Okay, um, all of them they look well in APA table. This has to be left. Select all of them and make sure they are at the center with right alignment. Okay, this is the right alignment and they are at the center of the table. So that's fine. We'll go here, no color. It will remove the highlights change the font color to black okay and just simply now no borders okay so select this top row top border but apply the border so for here you can simply click on this area and apply the border so yep that's that's all we are done the title should be normal italicized Okay, and table name, table one, which has to be now. Select the table, press Alt and press OP at the same time. Single spacing. Yep, this is how it just look like. So we are on the table now. Now to describe the table in other table, you, you can see like I have removed all of them, so and it, it looks clean. It doesn't matter whether you keep all of them or or you remove all of them okay so because if you see this uh, this line over here with one 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 and you see all of this 80 this is the sample size okay this is the sample size so as i said it, it, it doesn't matter whether you want to keep all of this table or or whether you want to use this table okay now let us look into um, now let us look into how do we explain this if you go to work safety accident okay let's look into this and let us look into this okay so so what what, what you do is basically you look like this like this okay this is weekly safety incident right and then you can look into this okay so what we are trying to see here is there any correlation between weekly hours worked and weekly safety incident okay we you see weekly safety incidents okay like i said this is the repetition the, this is the repetition of what we have here therefore now let's go to the third one now what we are looking is is there any relation between yeah employee satisfaction and uh, weekly safety incident likewise is there any relation between employee age and weekly safety incident so now you go to the third one employee satisfaction and employee age do you see any relation okay this is how this is how it is explained so let me go and show you one one example and let's see the weekly hours worked okay a safety incident right now there are three areas that what we can see over here one is a p one is a pearson correlation this is a positive right 
So what we are saying here is because we are doing a Pearson correlation, so we are indicating this R, right? Now what is this? Now R is equals to 0.552. Now what you see is the significance. Now when you see significance, you will see double uh, asterisk and you will see the single asterisk as well. What does double asterisk mean is we are looking the significance level at 0 0.01. So since since the significance level is 0 0.00 so what we are saying is the significance is point yeah point zero 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 right now what is the n value the n value is 80 therefore what we mention here is r n minus 2 that means we have 78 and this is our always remember there must be space between there must be space between the symbol and the numbers right now let us explain this uh, these two variables so you, you you can you can get idea on um, explaining the rest of them okay so what we are what what we see here the positive correlation and the relation is significant right it's very simple so let's go here the results were statically significant right now look into this okay is it positive or negative it is positive now what we know something is if the value is below 3 that is that is low if it is between 3 to 5 that is called moderate and if it is above 5 that is a strong relationship okay now so the result was statistically significant so the strong and why we are saying positive because the value is in positive it is not negative right so if for example if it was minus 552 then we would say that there is a negative cor correlation so what we are saying is that the result was statistically significant a strong positive correlation between employee hours work and weekly safety incidents right employee hours work and the weekly safety incidents and then what we do is now we need to show the result in the numerical figures so what we are saying is now we bring this r which don't forget uh, to italicize this r r 78 where the 78 is coming like i said it is n minus 2 so what is n value here? n n value is the sample value in 80 minus 2 equals to 78 now where does this 0.552 comes from this is 0.552 so we are saying with this n value okay this is our correlation strength which is positive yeah strong strong because it is more than 5 and positive because it is a positive value and this is what is called the significance level correct here we go with significance level now what we need to explain here is with employees hours worked okay with this employees hours worked which explains now what we need to oh sorry ex explain yeah now what we need uh, to do here is what you see over here is 0.552 okay while identifying a variation in um, Pearson correlation the simple formula is like what we said is it is R square isn't it now what is how do you calculate this R square is now look into 0.552 0.552 times again 0.552 now let's calculate this 0 0.552 times 0 0.552 that gives us 0 0.304 yeah 0 0.304 
Now, if you multiply it by 100, then what you get is, if you multiply by 100, then you, what you get is 30 percentage, yeah? So we can say like 30 percent. Did, did you get this? It's very simple, okay? With employees hours uh, explaining 30 percent of the variation in weekly safety in incidents then we are done with the inferential result analysis for working hours and employee satisfaction okay so you might be thinking like you know uh, the exam uh, the example file that was provided from university but the, the they haven't uh, you know explained in this way yes you are right it is explained in different way and let me show you how it is explained over there okay so the, the top part is same the results were statistically significant strong positive relation between employee hours and worked sorry employee uh, hours worked and weekly safety incidents right so here is the difference between what we what we are provided in the example and what I have mentioned on uh, example one let me write this so it makes it easier a safety incidents so this is how it starts in this example what happens is we straight away mention mention the r value 0.552 comma and then we mention the sample okay n equal to 80 and then we mention the p value this is where you finish and what you do next is then you continue with this is the um, the second variable which can be like a moderate positive correlation between employee hours worked and employee satisfaction which is the employee hours worked and employee satisfaction now we are comparing employee hours worked with employee satisfaction right which is how much uh, 351000 mm, employee satisfaction then again we start with our value is 0.351 and we mentioned the n value is 80 and we mentioned the p value which is less than 0.001 okay so then you, you, you might say like look wh wh why you are coming up with this um, these two examples yes you are you are right asking that and uh, the, the simple reason is um i did not feel satisfied with this uh, uh, with this example provided in our uh, in our template because it doesn't you know like um, give the details that you can receive over here okay um, at least we can explain the variation of percentage uh, between those two variables okay you got it now since i have given one uh, example so now it is up to you employ hour and look into the age okay uh, look into the weekly satisfaction incident and sorry weekly uh, safety incident and employee satisfaction go into the employers so yeah um, I'm not going to tell you where but among them right among them there is only one uh, correlation that is uh, not statistically significant in this table right you identify and then mention in a comment box okay so i hope that um, i have managed to explain you that how to how to write the inferential result in you know in uh, two different methods and uh, considering the, uh, the considering the preference of professor i have checked with professor paul um, and then what she has said is uh, it is completely up to you how do you want to uh, mention the result 
uh, but you know, you know there is no right or wrong in in uh, in both cases if you write in this way that is also perfectly fine if you write in this way that is also perfectly fine the reason i mention this is because uh, in example 2 you won't see the explanation of variation and you won't be if you uh, you know if you know it how to calculate that's perfectly fine otherwise this may help you to identify the variation between those two variables okay uh, thank you very much um, and anything related to this video any feedback or if you want to add any information that I have missed over here you're most welcome just put it in the comments thank you and have a good day